They are trying to strip me of my constitutional power as your commander in chief. Robin Wright, firstly, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure. Thank you for your time. Um, are you used to the president's lifestyle by now? Do you, are you used to people calling you Madam President? <laughs> <laughs> on, on set and in scenes, yes. Right. You know, we live in times where people, world over, people want to see women in powerful roles, and you do that so well. Does that cross your mind, or will that cross your mind in the future before signing up roles? Um, I think it's always been uh, what is what is uh, inspiring. What what is the one thing that you're passionate about? Well, it's generally a role that embodies something right. that is proactive. That right. can be negative or positive. It doesn't just right. have to be general, mm -hmm. powerful, strong. Mm -hmm. It's in what context are they? Right. They can be a horrible human being and be very powerful. Absolutely. Um, and I, as an actor, you just want something tactile to play. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly that what you play. What's the biggest learning from you, for you from this character of Leigh Underwood? I think... Um, Probably the diligence and patience with how stoic she is mm. and her physical stance. Right. That was the most conscious I had to be every day of how straight the I... posture. Yeah, my posture. Yeah. Right. After Kevin Spacey's exit from the show, was it difficult for you guys, you and the rest of the cast? I mean, it was always our intention to do season six uh, as you saw it. That, right. that was the template. Um, when she looked into the camera mm -hmm. at the end of season five and said, it's my turn, it was always going to be an exploration we, of that. Right. So nothing really changed. You, do, do you follow politics? You do this so well. No, it's too tragic to watch. Yeah, that is absolutely <laughs> right. Uh, was acting and directing tough at the same time? You also directed. Did you enjoy that? It um, kind of became second nature where you were just, oh, it was part of the beast. You mm -hmm. know, you just had to get used to it. But I would prefer to be behind the camera. Okay. okay. So whenever I had to do a scene, I just couldn't wait to finish yeah. so I could get behind and direct the actors. And it's, it's so much fun being a director. I'm not going to be told what to do anymore, Doug. Not by you or any man ever again. Do you think she's, do you think Claire Underwood is a mean person? And could you tell me the meanest thing according to you that she has done? I mean, I can't call her mean because mm -hmm. I think you have to love your characters no right. matter who they are Absolutely, and yeah. believe in them. So I just believe that everything that she had to do and in the way she had to do it was the right way. Uh, you know, for people who have not watched the show, uh, what should they expect from this season? Has it shaped up the way you guys always wanted? Boy, I, ho I hope that they are satisfied with uh, there's a lot of opera there, there in this a last lot. season, I yeah, will say. <laughs> opera, that's the best way to sum it up. Um, tell me, has Netflix also opened up a new market for you guys, for actors like yourself? I think it certainly uh, has opened doors to play um, a variety of different characters. Right. Because I think a lot of us have played characters on this show that we've never played before. Right. Is there something everybody's binge watching House of Cards? What do you binge watch? I've never binged. Never. I know. Oh. God, that's that's a frightening <laughs> drug. <laughs> right. Great. Thank you. Such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks.